Splash and the soldier of the game spitter. Spot them, got them. You spending too much money on jewelry and you spending too much time on IG Live and in the mirror, feeling yourself, bigging yourself up, which is cool, but you're not making the right moves and safety moves that you're supposed to in life, being that the artist that you are. See, your situation different from Wiz the Wizard. See, you more advanced in your career with your name being established artist. And you have the money, you have the income coming in, you have the shows, you have people calling for verses, you have promotion, people want to pay you for this and that. So yeah, you should know better. You should know better. How you should know better? Because you, I know you seen Young Dolph in CIAA when he was in my city and how he came about this situation. So you know, you've seen these situations play out. So what's the problem? Because I'm pretty sure all that jewelry you got on, it's at least VS1 diamond or VS2 or VBS or better diamonds in that chain. So you at least spun 300,000 or more for all that jewelry that you got. Understand with your teeth and everything and your designer and you did all that you just ride past you just ride past the military stores you just when you go on google you don't never type in bulletproof windows you don't never type in nothing no bulletproof nothing and yeah you'll type in bullets on google you'll type bullets but you type in full metal jackets bullets for sale or hollow tilt bullets for sale that's playing offense spot them you're not the green bay packers you don't win most of your games or your playoff games off offense you don't got Aaron Rodgers quarterbacking you you got Cam Newton, so you could throw an interception. Spot him. Yeah, because if you really had that sturdy team and had that real, you had defense and offense, both of them together, yeah, you would you would have bulletproof windows. You would have the proper security team. You would have them cars falling behind you. If you're not going to use the bulletproof windows, because I don't know why you wouldn't, the government, you don't never call. The government got no calls or your state, don't got no calls or your city, whatever. Got no cause of you calling saying, can I get the bulletproof level four glass? Why you need it? Because I'm spot them, got them. They'll know it. They kids that done the dance to your song on TikTok. They kids, the dude that'll give you permission. They kids listen to your music. And not, not all your music. Not, ooh, that's, but that song right there, because it come on the radio. They get the clean version. You know, they play the dirty version when the dad ain't around. So, yeah, he would have said, yeah. How you make him say, yeah, even more? If you're a convicted felon, give back. Yeah, instead of spending all that money with Johnny Dane, ain't no Dane, secret, huh? All that stuff. Instead of spending all that money, get some money back to some of them charities and rub the right shoulders with people in your city, in your state. So when you need situations like that, you know, they'll say yes, even though you're a convicted felon. Spot them. You got the perfect excuse to get the bulletproof windshield. It ain't like you just doing it to be cool or to look gangster. Nah, you somebody, you little. You know, you take all that stuff out and, you know, you put your baby, you got a baby face, a little boy face. You see what I'm saying? So you put that face on, you young, you know what I'm saying? Show them your sad face or that you really a different person besides the character or the entertainer. Man, they're going to give you the bulletproof windows. You ain't just no gangster. You a celebrity. So, but no, you don't make no phone calls. Or you too, you got so much pride, you can't even talk to them because you can't go a day or you can't go five hours without lighting up a <laughs> smoking. <laughs> You can't go five hours without rolling up a blunt uh, backwood bigger than one of your dreads. You smoking blunts bigger than your body. Yeah, you stay in high stand shell, so it ain't hard. You ain't on your P's and Q's like you supposed to be. And you ain't, and you lacking. So even though y'all riding with them poles in the car and stick, y'all blick it up with switches and all that, you still lacking because why? You don't have the proper equipment. If the military was to attack you, it's easy. If the proper hitman attack you, the professionals attack you, it's easy because you don't ride like the president. You don't ride like other smart rappers and other smart R&B singers and movie actors. It's people like The Rock that got bulletproof windows and they don't diss no ops. They don't smoke on no packs. They don't, ain't nobody really trying to kill them. But they don't, the devil don't play like that because the devil can make anybody wake up and say, attack Dwayne Johnson. Because The Rock understands Satan has the power to make anybody wake up, especially one of his children and want to kill The Rock or want to kill Tyler Perry. So they got to take, they don't wait for something to happen. Especially you in a drama where stuff like this happen, you already know you in Miami and stuff like that. Come on, man. Coming from the studio at three in the morning, bro, let me find out you got more jewelry, diamond teeth, all these flawless diamonds, VVS diamonds, all the designer, got you paying 4000 3500 a month for the jewelry. Let me find out you got all that, but don't got the rest of the stuff you need. The rest of the back office stuff you need. Don't got the right camera system. Don't got the right security team. Don't got the right people in your corner telling you the right safety tips. Let me find out.
that you just getting your money and you just spending on the stuff that make you look like you successful. But you really don't have the wealth and the assets like Rick Ross and Future and P. Diddy and Jay-Z. You don't really have that. But you got the rest of the stuff. You got the costume stuff. You got the jewelry. You can pull up. Same jewelry. Kind of the same. You know, they diamonds are a little bit more expensive. But same car. You got that song on the radio. They play Meek Mill. Then they got to play yours. They play this one. Then they got to play yours. You got that. But you don't got the rest. Look at the rest of the stuff they doing. How they stay safe. How do Jay-Z stay from getting shot at? He got people that don't like him. How do P. Diddy stay from getting shot at? He didn't do a lot of stuff to people. Or his name got tied in the stuff. How he stay that? How they don't never get ran down on? How you can't just walk up on him and get it? You know why it ain't a lot of pictures floating around of fans just taking pictures with P. Diddy now or Jay-Z now or 50 or the Master P. Because they move the right way. You can't just walk up on these guys like that. Especially when they in dangerous, they in demon areas. They're going to have the right team. The right guys, the right teams. You can buy demons. You don't have to have the demons that you grew up with. Demons are for sale because that's how they eat. That's how they, they don't go to work. They don't have business. They don't have no LLCs. They don't got demon LLC. It ain't no LLC made like that. You type, try to go, go to legal zone, type demon LLC. They're going to say, ain't nobody use that name. Ain't nobody use that. And they don't got nothing like that. So they'll take money. That's their job. So why is they not around you? Why is the proper ones? And when I say demon, I don't mean the ignorant one. It can be the smart one, the legit one. But he still got a wicked mind. He still know how to get away with stuff, but he's still evil. So that'll make him still a demon. Understand, a demon, the rappers, how they say it, they just mean for like drilling, but it's really a mindset. It's really just having a wicked mind. That makes you a demon, and then you'll do it. Having a wicked mind, then you'll do it. Not necessarily you got to be a street guy or sell drugs or took the gun like this or dressed like this or look like this. No. They're not even the strongest people in the devil. They're the lowest of the low. So, yeah, they come in all shapes. They could be a doctor. And you could be wicked and be a demon. So, yeah, you ain't got none of them. You ain't got no military soldiers. You ain't you ain't go to the military yards. You ain't go to Fort Bragg and the big military yards and, and tell them soldiers to quit. Tell the top. See, that's what I do. I tell the top, the number one sharpshooter. I make him quit that army stuff. I find a way to get him out of that. I tell him I'll take care of him for the rest of his life. You just make sure I'm straight. And I get like two or three of them type of guys. Yeah, so they already done rubbed shoulders with the top level people, the top governments and all that in America because he the number one sharpshooter for the army or he the one who put the most work in for the military. I changed their life. I had them around me. You see what I'm saying? So they, they background going to look so good in court when they do go to court. But no, they got to have dreadlocks like you. They got to have gold teeth and diamond teeth and sad to pan with the tattoos all over the neck and all that there like you. And you coming, you going to the studio at three o'clock in the morning, demon hours. And you know, all you having all that jury on, you're supposed to have a studio at your crib. You're supposed to have a studio in the car. I done seen rappers record in their car. I done seen rappers record at the hotel. I done seen Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka used to come. He come, he'd, go, he'd get a hotel and put the studio in the hotel. You going to a real legit studio where people can know you at that studio or see you coming out the studio. In Miami, where everybody go, it been millions of stars. Stars get born in Miami and Florida every day since back in the day. Before they had the stars, they had the big drug stars. They always had a star. Miami, one of the first cities in America that always had a star. Before that, they had the Columbians. They always had stars. Yeah, they, you know, Miami, Miami is a place where they turned up a lot of people. They, they made a lot of people successful. They made a lot of banks. And they got a lot of history of money and being successful, being a star, being famous, and being for born. It just didn't come with the rappers. No, Miami and Florida been popping since the Colombian days. So they been turned like how Vegas and other places was. And with you also knowing that, you will also know that the violence that Miami could bring. It just didn't come from the black guys for the streets. They didn't start that, duh. It come from the Colombians and people before that. So it's in the air. It's in the energy. It's in, yeah. It's a dark city. It's a dark, beautiful city, though. Yeah, they attract a lot of people. So it get wicked, but it's it's beautiful. So the, the devil loves Florida and Miami because he make it so beautiful. But it's a real wicked city. Yeah, it's wicked. You would think you in uh, Baltimore. They got the same mindset as Baltimore, but they stuff just more upscale and five starish. That's all it is. <laughs> now, in this situation right here, if you would have had the bulletproof vest on, it really wouldn't have done you no good where you got hit at. But the windshields, the the car door, that's what it would have covered you, 
right there. So that's why you got to have it both. You can't just have the bulletproof car and be like Dolph and have the bulletproof car. And then when you walk out on land, you don't have the bulletproof vest or the bulletproof pants. Because this is America. America don't got it. China got it in their ship it over here. You ain't had the bulletproof face mask, none of that duck. But you too cool. You, you spot them, got them, so you can't. Even though you'll put a mask on, y'all put a cheap little paper mask, but you won't put the bulletproof face mask on. Because you won't ask permission. You won't buy it. Y'all don't rap about it. Why real rappers don't rap about it? They go against bulletproof, but they need it. I don't understand it. They talk junk about it. You ready, boy? You got a vest on. We shoot you in the head. Knowing they ain't never killed nothing. The dude who got seven bodies, he ain't never killed nothing when somebody with a bulletproof vest on and shot him in the head. They a liar. They ain't killed nobody with no vest on and shot him in the head. These dudes ain't got them type of bodies. They got bodies, but they ain't got them type of bodies. They ain't took the military or police to war and shot the police in the head. And some have, but they ain't on the streets. Some, it's a few dudes that put work in on the police falls, killed them, and they still on the streets. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them behind the bars. And they still didn't shoot them in the head. And the police, like the ones that's in the regular cars, they they usually only wear a level two vest. So uh, AK can go through that. It's the SWAT team and the detectives and people like that that wear the level three and a level four vest. That's why you'll see ATF. It's so big. You, you can't go under a uniform. So that's why they have put police, ATF, and all that duck because the vest so big, it cover up everything. Understand that. But you won't, you won't wear that. So you'll make... All the rappers make it, it seem like it's uncool to have bulletproof cars and bulletproof until they get hit. Then they'll say vest or windshield. But you can, you got to have both of them. Because once the world see all the gangsters and all the steppers see that you got a bulletproof car, and don't just bulletproof one car. See, that's why I could, that's why I signed with, I would have been on the G unit and not y'all because all his cars were bulletproof, not just one Jeep. Y'all just bulletproof one Escalade, one uh, Suburban. You know what I'm saying? You don't never bulletproof the track hawks, the stuff that you really want to flex in. Bulletproof that Corvette. Bulletproof the Lamb. Bulletproof the Urus. You know you don't want to ride in the Cadillac or the Suburban every day, but you're going to bulletproof that Suburban, knowing you want to flex, knowing always when you go to different situations, parties and stuff, you ain't going to want to pull up in no Suburban on the Escalade all the time. You see what I'm saying? That's something boosted by the Escalade. Give it to his mama. So why would he just bulletproof the Escalade and he knows some days he's going to want to pull up in the Corvette, the white and black Corvette or the the Rolls Royce or the Phantom or whatever he got, whatever cars he got, or the Urus or the Jaguar or the Audi or the BMW Jeep. Why not bulletproof all of them? Oh, oh, you don't want to spend an extra hundred thousand between fifty to a hundred to two hundred thousand per car just to bulletproof. And you try to still roll the dice like, oh, this situation might not even happen. Like, we ain't really got to bulletproof all these cars. Always bulletproof the cars that you're gonna drive daily. Don't just bulletproof. If you got a bulletproof one car, don't just bulletproof the car that you go on the road with because there's a good chance it might not happen while you're really on the road. It's going to happen when you're on them humbug days, when you're in a scat, when you're in a cat, when you're in a vet, especially cars like Ferraris, Corvette, because they're so small, so you don't got no room. There ain't no room for the bullets to breathe. You're in a Corvette. Ain't no way you ain't going to get hit. You're in a Lamb or Ferrari. Ain't no room for the bullets to breathe. Yeah, so... You know, with uh, guys like you, when they attack, they like y'all like to be in them cars. So I tell the killers to put them FMJ bullets in there. No, don't put no hollow. Put them FMJ. These boys like to ride in the car. They want to ride in the Escalades, and they want to ride in the big boy Suburbans and all that there. We put the FMJs in it. We load it. Oh, we let the bullets breathe. We're going to let the bullets breathe a little bit because we're using aftermarket clips. Yeah, because Glock don't make 50 rounds and 75 round drums. So we don't want to full up the whole drum with FMJs or hollows because like Biggie said we gotta let the bullets breathe because these aftermarket clips it could jam you don't want your Glock to jam using an aftermarket clip or a drum so now if you're using something that got Glock at the bottom and you can fill it up to the top but anytime you're using clips that the brand of the clip ain't you know what I'm saying the gun it don't match never fill it up you know if you got a 30 if you buy a 30 round only put 25 on it let the bullets breathe yeah, and then have another duct tape, another extendo, or have another one in your pocket. Understand? You ain't got to listen to me. Just keep. Yeah, sometimes it'll go all because this is what you'll do. This is what a lot of gangsters or shooters and steppers or people who legit are do. They'll go to the gun range and see that it'll go all the way through. They'll go to the gun range or go outside or whatever, or even a real shootout and see that it shoot all the way through. And then they'll be like, I'm lying. I ain't telling the truth just because it go through. You can buy a high point and it don't jam. And then you take it, use it a month later, and it jam. So why you don't buy it? If that's the case, then people own high points and say a high point, say they life. But we all know high points is a cheap gun. It's a cheap American-made gun type. 
cheap pause and everything. Yeah, Yo, you might go through, uh, you know what I'm saying, a uh, drum or two and it, and it go through, but in your situation when you really need it, who's to say? That bullet that you need to go through that chamber don't go through. And you always got to pay attention to the bullets. Like when you watch people on YouTube that shoot guns, always the number one thing you need to pay attention to, the name of the bullet. It might be in the beginning of the video or it might be right before they shoot. They're going to tell you the brand of the bullets. You always pay attention to the brand of the bullets that they're using when they, you know, shooting them guns, shooting them rounds, shooting them magazines, and they're shooting all the way through or they jamming up. Write it down. Don't just try to remember. Y'all can't read and write. Write it down. Like, don't just, uh, or screen record it. Do something. Don't just try to remember in your head and you smoking blunts big as this and you smoking the best. I don't know why you think y'all brain, you think your brain ain't fried. Knowing your brain, your brain ain't straight like that. Spot them. You already know you're not that too hard to spot. The big dreadlock thing and how you, how you dress, you little. You're not that hard to spot and your tent, even though you got tent on it, we know it's you. We seen you get in the car. We just couldn't get at you when you was coming out the studio. We had to wait till you get in the car because just how the situation played out. So it ain't nothing to, you ain't driving though. The car y'all was in, it wasn't in the fastest thing, but you could have lost them. That's why I say it's a waste of money to buy the Escalade. I would never buy the Escalade. Or I don't care what they put in. They put a living room set in there, a dining chair, all that there, love seat. They can have a bathtub in it. None of that. If it don't go, if it ain't over 650 horsepower, we ain't riding it. We ain't driving it. We ain't getting it. No. Uh, if it's a pickup truck, it got to be the Ram TRX or the one that's coming out for Chevrolet. You got to be one of them. If it's not, we're not driving no Raptors or no regular Dodge pickup trucks. None of that duh. We're not driving. If it don't got over 650 horsepower, we're not getting in it. Yeah, because I got to be able to get away off certain scenes. I got to, when they shoot, you got to be able to, yeah, get to 100 miles per hour. And it shouldn't take no more than four seconds or four point. Okay, in the Jeep, it shouldn't take no more than 4.5 seconds to get to 100 miles per hour or get to 60 miles per hour. You see what I'm saying? So, if you in Escalades and Suburbans, because you get them for a good deal, but Escalade not, but the Suburban, you get them for a good deal, you want to get two or three on them? No. The only time I buy them cars and have them Suburbans and Escalade, that's if you got the proper security with you. It might be law enforcement. It might be the real deal type security. If you got that, then, then you can have them type of cars. Then, you know, you might not have to bulletproof the whip. But you're not going to ride like that. See, if you're like a P. Diddy, you know, P. Diddy might not have to bulletproof his Maybach because he had the police follow him. So I ain't seen it where a rapper ops uh, catch their target and gun him down right the police right behind him. It ain't like the police don't know. They, it's like he got two cars in front of him, two cars in the back. He might got his homeboy right behind him, but he got police in front and in the back. You know what I'm saying? Or when they coming out of clubs, when they come out the club or the studio, they have like how Gucci when he left the versus battle, he had the dudes with the choppers, the ARs walking right beside his car and they were just creeping in creep mode. Yeah, I'll have it arranged where if I gotta sell some of my chains back to Johnny Thang, if I gotta sell some of the chain back, I have it where when I come out the club, I got steppers, the real legit ones. My real my real steppers from the neighborhood, they come with me. See, I don't just use them, I don't put them I really use them more for fist fights. And if you're trying to run up, trying to fight and stuff like that, so we can whoop, whoop on your head and stuff like that. Other than that, as far as the gunplay, you know, when we're not around, you know, uh, regular fans and people and we just chilling, that's when my regular steppers from the hood could become my real security. But out in public, on land where the righteous at, no, I need righteous security people fighting righteous people or righteous fans or demon fans. I need them fighting that, shooting at them. When I come out the club or coming out the studio, Events like that was a lot of cameras and a lot of people and a lot of police and a lot of witnesses. So I need legit people attacking demons and legit people if they run up, understand? So I would have the retired police officer or the security guard holding me down when I come out, walking me to my car. And if I got a creep in creep mode, they're gonna follow behind my car or right beside my car or, you know, till I get to a safe destination where I can smash the gas. If not, if I need them to follow me all the way to the exit of the highway, uh, you call me what you call. They behind my records. That's what's going to happen. Whether I got a whole bunch of homeboys or it's real security. Especially when I'm in my own state, not just the city. When I'm in my own state, I have it like that. You see what I'm saying? Because of, you know, the type of energy that I put out. The type of places that I be. There ain't no way you can go where demons ain't going to go. Or they ain't going to know to go. Because... That's the type of energy. That's the type of fans that support your music. See, you had righteous people support your music. As far as the dance and the TikTok, 
But once they see how you really think and how you really feel, how you really rap, they'll be like, them fans are kind of go away. They're just still dancing that or maybe another one. But most of the time, they're not going to really, you know what I'm saying? They're just waiting for the next dance or the next video, and that's it. But everybody else, yeah, they more than fans. Because in these days, fans kill now. So yeah, they was your fans in the beginning till you said what you said on a certain song or did or you stood with him, and then they flip. Now they ops or enemies. Or it could have been a situation where they were just straight up ops. Y'all was already in tour or somebody in your crew or your clique did something. And they had to see about you. Because you're responsible for anybody in your organization. Yeah, because spot them, you're responsible for anybody in your organization. Yeah, anybody do something, say something out the way, they fall back on you. Yeah, one of your dudes in your clique hit my spot, it'll be coming for you. Yeah, he put your brand on that though. So yeah, we coming for you. So yeah, you count for everybody in your entourage, you count for that. That's why when you get even the law, the law, the government, America, even, they do they apply the same type of rules. If you get pulled over and you're the artist and you convict the felon and there's two guns in the car, they're gonna make you wear it. Yeah, because you're responsible for everybody in the crew. So you still responsible for what they say. Your buddy in them, your partner in them, couldn't even be you. Let alone it being you. You got the nerve to be in Miami, a wicked city like, a wicked, beautiful city like Miami, and not have no bulletproof windows and doors. Who you think you is? You know your little body can't afford to take no five rounds? And you smoking all that? You know how hard your lungs work? Now you're going to make it that hard for your lungs to breathe? You want to put that Teflon over that? You want to put that Teflon, that, that metal and all that dough over your face? You want to put that Teflon and all that stuff on your windshields and doors? And you little like that? And you know your body, your heart can't take no shell to the heart? And these dudes shooting hollow tips, they trying to bust your whole bones. Yeah, they shooting Dracos and 7.62s and 223s and 40 cows and 10 millimeter and all that dough. Oh. These dudes ain't talking no 380s or no 38. They been past 17. They ain't 17 no more with a 38. Now they 28 with a Glock with 38 shots. And they trying to spot them and got them. Like your name, your name a curse. They call a boss man for the green light. Like boss, we spot them. Y'all got them. Good. Get them. It's cool. Hit them. So you already know how they playing it, man. You already know how Miami play it. They ain't playing fair. And why should they play fair when life ain't fair? So they be losing. They play fair when life ain't playing fair. So understand man this situation right here when more details come out i touch back on it i don't really know for sure if he passed or he didn't pass away some people say he's fighting for his life some people say he's gone i'm hoping he's still fighting for his life because he still got more to offer to the world he still got more hits to drop so pull through you're a strong dude to still be fighting with five rounds in you you know you know it's pressure you know it ain't no little 380 or no little 38 and nothing like that so you know it's pressure bullets at least a nine or better so, so you're super strong to still be fighting for your life because you know it's a lot of people counting on you your mama your family whoever's still alive your daddy your girl your grandma your aunts your cousins a lot of people depending on you you know what i'm saying want to see you make it be bigger than what you is if you make it through this situation lesson learned this wasn't a loss unless you die then it's a loss you survive it was a lesson. Now you'll know how to move unless you hard-headed. Unless you hard-headed, you would then know how to move and know your surroundings and know how to play when you around demon areas like the studio, the club, you know, bad neighborhoods, and you'll get it together. You'll know what to do. You'll know how to move your chess man around because you didn't let one of them ops get to the... He didn't knock the king off the board. He didn't knock one of your steps. He didn't knock the king off the board. Now... You got other kings. Now, if you die, the game over. So you still got extra men that you fighting. You got an extra king right there. Will God or Satan let you use that king? Will Satan let you use, will he spare you and let you use the other king? Yeah, because Jesus, when he wouldn't have done, he wouldn't have, the, the blessing that you got to rap and the demon type lyrics that you put off and the type of situation you put yourself into, it's the devil's work. So I can't say what God give you. No, oh, oh, oh. God, oh Lord, you'd have been on doing songs with a lot of animals and Kirk Franklin and all that. It was God. Oh, this ain't God's work right here. This the devil work. So Satan gotta give you another chance. It's his call. Understand now. I know a lot of people might not believe it or they don't like it. It is what it is. But that's my take on this situation right here, man. Hit the like button, hit the comment section. Let me know if I missed anything or if I'm wrong. Go. On.